Hello, my name is Ikello Herod, and welcome to the Future Fiction Academy. It's time for class. We are going to go over one, what buttons are, and two, we're going to show you my top five buttons that I love playing around with in Plot Drive. All right, it's time to jump right in. Let's have a real quick primer on what are buttons. In Plot Drive, buttons are your custom commands for the AI. They're shortcuts. They let you run specific prompts with just a click. Instead of having, a t having to type all of the same instructions over and over again, you can create a button. Very, very self-explanatory. As a matter of fact, you can create a button and it ends up looking exactly like this. Now, we are in this good moment right here where you think to yourself, it looks just like it's just a button. It doesn't, it's got an underpinning prompt that builds it into something else. Here you can see there are two colored buttons, plot drive and mega prompt. Next to the binoculars button, the plot drive button comes standard with plot drive. You can create a mega prompt button or whatever other button you want <laughs> with any color you want. You can use it to generate text, edit text, create outlines, all of those sorts of things. There are two different types of buttons that you can create. I'm going to show you four of the first kind and only one of the second kind because only one of the second kind actually made my list. These two types are generate actions and selection actions. If you make a generate actions button, that means that you create something that only controls like the empty air it doesn't if you highlight if you don't uh, it doesn't work on highlighted text it only works in the middle of the prompt you all you have to do is just say hey i've got a blank document here and you could just click on the plot drive button and it just spins off and makes you something i will show you the plot drive button because it happens to be one of my top five buttons but that's a quick primer you, uh, these buttons work whenever you use the cursor in the document. You don't have to select any text. Just click the button and it will do things. It will do all kinds of things. All you have to do is set up the prompt inside the button. And then the second one is selection. These buttons only work when you have something selected inside of the document. They're great for editing and refining specific passages. Pretty self-explanatory. So if you want to highlight something and change it fundamentally or zhuzh it up in some way, like make it more dramatic, more um, give it a cliffhanger at the end, or maybe make the entire thing longer if you wanted to, that's what a selection action is for. And it's just a button and it looks just like any other buttons. And as you can see right here, here is a diagram. Actually, I believe this might actually be. Nope, nope. This is a zoomed in spot. I thought for a split second that this was on the phone, but it is not. And this is just a breakdown and you can see your generate actions and your selection actions. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you. And remember, you also have access to the actual buttons that I am that I built for this that are the top five buttons that I love, they're actually in the description. You can click through and take a look at them. And also this page too, where you kind of get a primer for how buttons work. Now that we've rocked the introduction to buttons, let me show you my top five. My top five buttons. The first one, is the go button. The go button is your content before, okay? And then context, which basically means you can have any active documents and the context before inside of the document you're actually in. So it reads the words before in your document and anything active, and you can take that and do whatever you want with it. And you'll say to yourself, well, isn't that what the plot drive button does? <laughs> well, let me explain to you 
the plot drive button is a completely different beast. And so let's go to number two, the plot drive button. The plot drive button is a simple sort of straightforward prompt. Please read the following information for context. And that context is active documents because that's the way that it denotes that that is active documents. So anything inside of the context, any active documents, it will look at those as like one piece of its brain and it will use those and any content before, meaning anything inside of the document, any words before inside of the document. Now, one of the things that you have to remember when you look at each one of these, remember, you're going to get access to each one of these buttons and you'll be able to use them inside of your plot drive by just copy and pasting this entire prompt, obviously without the title of the prompt, but just copy and paste it and put it inside of your button as you build it. And it will automatically populate all the things you need it to populate because it has all the nomenclature and everything baked into this prompt. Please read the following information for context. Here is where we are right now in the story. That means words before. Please continue the story matching style, tone, and point of view as appropriate. If there is no context, just start writing fiction, which is a completely different animal to the go button, which is just, it doesn't do anything extra. It doesn't try to mimic style or anything. It just looks at the words before and the context, which is any active documents that might be toggled on. <laughs> and you are off uh, to the races. Let's go a little bit deeper. This one's called go deeper. This one was actually developed by Jay. He's one of the founders of Plot Drive and Realm Chef, entrepreneur to his core. I will give you a plan to deepen the story we're writing. <laughs> we're writing. First, read, and then it says context before the selection. So you're going to read anything, content before selection. You're going to read any words before, and then you're going to take the point of view. So you'll see down here, I have in brackets POV. This is where you will insert whatever your POV is. Third person omniscient, first person point of view, specific character point of view, that sort of thing. And then you will add your own genre, selected content. Now this, oh, that's right. I actually have two selected content uh, selection uh, actions that I built up. Ah, forgot about that. Okay. So you'll see here that you, any selected content, it will take all of that information and kind of change everything around. Remember your job is to write like you would for genre inserted. Now, remember it is your job to write like you would for whatever the genre is in the novel and in the specific point of view. And remember, you're going back and you're doing this over and over again so that it has everything specifically in context and actually knows what is important. That's one of the reasons why it's kind of at the beginning, kind of at the end. All right, your writing will deepen the reader experience and delight readers of the genre. And then you make sure that you have the instructions in there, which helps you change things on the fly if you need to. If you don't want to and you just want it to do this quickly, you could take the instructions out and it would automatically move on, make the changes and keep going. Just so you know. All right. Now let's say you're using your buttons and you're doing all this stuff and everything is going well for you, but you are starting to use up a lot of context, a lot of memory, a lot of tokens. Maybe you should create a story Bible. You take the context, which is any active documents, and write a bullet pointed summary of information for each chapter so far. If a chapter is already covered below, only write summaries of missing chapters and leave the existing summaries alone. And that is the words before. So you're going to look at the words, it's going to look at the words before which is the words inside of the document. 
And then it's going to take those words inside of the document and it's going to apply that information to the rest of the document so that it knows and is informed by the summary and it can put out the exact chapters that it's supposed to put out. All right. So that's one of my <laughs> that's my favorite uh, one of my favorites. And now the very last one, this one was created by Stacy over at the Future Fiction Academy. She created something called Fix It in Context. It actually it's it's one of the main reasons that she kind of wanted to change the fix it button is because the fix it button is actually pretty simple. Um, it's got a thing in there where it just says fix this uh, information as according to the instruction box box. She wanted more control, just like everything else. <laughs> we all want control. So she decided to do this. Please read this mountain man contemporary romance. Obviously, you will change out your uh, for your own, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> for your own um, genre. Uh, romance scene up to this point content before selection which means the information inside of the uh, document words before here are the words we are going to edit any selected content that is already selected and here is how the scene will finish and then the content after the selection for the words i selected before uh below the selected content, I want you to follow the instructions below for changes. That's the stuff inside of the box. Now, <laughs> the reason she added all of this stuff is so that it would use the information, the institutional information that it has about her genre. It would change things appropriately. Any other little tweaks she adds to the instruction box. Please only make changes in line with the instructions you may not freelance. Stacy will tell you she'll berate a, uh, a large language model in a split second, y'all, <laughs> in a split second. And that's pretty much all of the buttons. And those are my top five buttons in absolutely no particular order whatsoever. Even though, let's be real, go is as easy as it gets. But these are the top five. These are the ones that will actually take you and take your creative endeavor to the next level. All right, now do me a favor. If you are interested in Plot Drive, hit that little link in the description, pop right over and get it. If you're interested in classes, learning how to work with artificial intelligence and creative writing, then go over to the futurefictionacademy.com. My name is Ikel O'Harrod, and this has been the Future Fiction Academy, and I'll see you in class.